Good evening and thanks for watching DC Honeybees TV. Um, we're here on my roof where we are um, going to be trying out our Man Lake Queen rearing kit uh, one more time. Um, we've tried it a couple of times and had mixed success but it's all been my fault not uh, anything to do with the um, uh, with the kit itself and we're anxious to see if um, if we can if we can get some benefits from it. God these bees are all over the place though aren't they? I better uh, put a smoke on them and uh, maybe even a maybe even a a, uh, a veil all right we're here on our roof and it's about um, three days later and we are going to now uh, go to our favorite hive where we put the queen in that um, uh, queen rearing kit and see how she's doing so here's that hive uh, the bees are a little in antagonized today. I don't know why, but um, we're going to go in there and grab that kit. Here's the back of the Nikot, or the cream breeder system. And I just uh, want to point this out to you, and I hope you can see this in the film, or the video. Um, when the queen is in, this, in, the, uh, in the system and laying eggs, she doesn't lay all the eggs at once. It takes her a while to get situated and then the eggs come out over a period of a few days. And so in order to get eggs that are three days old and just emerging larvae, after the fourth day I come out and start looking at the cells to start seeing um, which ones uh, are now hatched. And you can tell that by noticing the royal jelly in the base of the, uh, the, base of the cells. So in this one, for instance, and maybe you could see this cell right there, it's a little bit of cloudiness on the bottom of it. That's an indication of some royal jelly in there, an indication that a fresh larva is in there. Uh, there's one right there as well, as well as next to it. So what we're going to do is we'll pull these things out, just um, one by one, the ones that are healthy and that have the uh, royal jelly in the bottom, and then we'll add those to the, um, uh, to the holders that hold the eggs, or pardon me, hold the larva. So we harvested about 20 cells here. I want you to see if you can see. There's a little pool of royal jelly and there's a larva in there, down at the bottom of each of these. Some of these have slightly larger larva than others. And we'll pick out the ones with the smallest larva to put them in our cell holders and introduce those into a colony. So we filled that one up with, and these are all eggs that are in good shape, single legs, look in pretty good shape. And we have a second frame that we're going to put in a second um, cell builder hive. And we've done the same thing with these eggs here, but because we're all about experimentation, we're going to take some of these cell cups and adhere them to the bar with some beeswax without using these cups to see if the bees build those out as well. All these cells have potentially viable eggs, so I just pick one up, dip it in a little beeswax, melt it, and adhere it to the top bar. And I just am a little generous with the wax. I've got some wax over here. I don't want to hold it too deep, too long into the wax because I don't want to. Oh, crud. Because I don't want to um, heat the uh, the egg up. And we'll test this, test drive this little system as well. So here we have two different rigs. Here's the, the pure um, Man Lake um, uh, queen rearing kit uh, with about uh, 17, um, 17 cell cups. And then we have the queen rearing kit on, um, with a little bit of a, 
a um, alternative, which is to use those cups that have eggs in them and just see if they can create their own queens. And as the fat bee man says, um, the hive will pick the best cups for the queens, and we hope that they will pick quite a few. We'll uh, see you up on the roof. We grafted these about five days ago, or transferred them from the knee coat system or the queen rearing system into these holders. And you can see here, I've had about 50% acceptance, which is darn good, I'd say. And not only did we get some in these holders, but we also got some with some of our waxed ads. And so we're going to be able to put some queen, cage, queen cages over these and let these hatch. And for the ones that are stuck to the bottom with, queens wax, with beeswax, we'll just add those cells directly into some empty, into some empty nukes or some queenless nukes. So hooray, it looks like it's worked. All right, it's eight in the morning. I'm a little tired. Um, obviously I haven't showered. Uh, just wanted to circle back on the queen rearing. Um, we, were, we are successful in breeding some queens and at 50% acceptance using this queen rearing kit we bought from Man Lake. I'll take 50% acceptance all day long. Uh, I can breed, or at least uh, with the kit, put together um, uh, queen cups or queen cells uh, at 110 at a time. So I could, even at only 50%, I can get 50 queens, which is way more than I would ever need. Um, but it's exciting uh, to have a few of our own queens. And uh, again, we used, uh, we used some genetics of some bees that we uh, really like. And so um, we're excited about uh, releasing these queens into uh, queenless nukes and see how they go. Um, just as a reminder, so the, the trick was in using this kit was to not, because the queen lays eggs uh, uh, sequentially over a couple of days, um, not, all the, uh, not all the cups are ready to be harvested at one time. Uh, the directions say pull the, pull the queen in the cups at day four. Uh, that's assuming all the larvae have hatched and the queen laid all of her eggs in the, in the first day. Uh, that hasn't been our experience. So don't pull a cup unless you see some royal jelly on the bottom and a larva. The egg is hatched and a larva has emerged. Um, and then um, that's when you can actually put them into the queen holders. And we also discovered that you don't even need the queen holders. We just used uh, those queen cups and uh, essentially attached them to the bottom of the top bar. Uh, with some beeswax, but apparently I guess you could use glue too if you really wanted to. Um, anyway, so we're excited about it and um, we look forward to seeing how well these queens do. Uh, thank you for watching DC Honeybees TV and thank you for supporting our mission for putting more uh, hives on rooftops and in backyards in the urban environment of Washington DC.